Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Courtney and I'm a full-time reseller on Poshmark and eBay. And today I'm here with the second day of a Goodwill bins trip that I did a couple weeks ago when I had a power outage and the previous haul should have been the first day. I think I got about 30, 33 items. And then this day I ended up getting 70 items. So more than double and that is okay by me because yeah, I mean, I had the gas. I did stay at a little... Uh, motel nearby and um, so I needed to find some stuff to make it to make the trip worth it but I have 70 items my average cost of goods per item was $1.71 and my expected sale price for all 70 items is $1,636 kind of on the low side to on the high side $2,042 so um, some fun stuff that I found and I'm excited to share with you uh, if you aren't already subscribed and you like reseller content, definitely consider hitting the subscribe button down below. And if you like this video, hit the thumbs up. Let me know. It always it always means a lot to me. So um, I got a few pairs of shoes, a couple little accessories, and mostly clothing. So I will kind of jump right in just to um, first acknowledge this shirt. <laughs> this is a uh, Soul Cycle shirt that um, is distressed and says San Francisco. And the funny thing is, is this was actually from a couple days ago when I was at the bins with my friend Laura Von V. I'll link her channel below. Uh, she had let me know that she had a really good day the night before, and um, there's a bee in here. So if I if I jump up, it's because the bee's headed towards me. My doors are open, so that's what I get. But anyways, uh, she found this and. Uh, she said, do you want this? And I looked at it and I was like, oh my gosh, you don't even know. I am always on the hunt for cool San Francisco stuff because when I lived there, I never picked up any San Francisco stuff. And a lot of the stuff I find is like the cheapy tourist sweatshirts or, you know, stuff like that. But this was actually something I could wear and, uh, kind of rep my, uh, my old city. So anyways, off topic already. Um, yeah, let's just get right into this. Um, all right, first up is a pair of mules. And these have some wear, but this is a brand I've been finding more and more often, and I've sold pretty quickly on every item I've picked up. So this is Rachel Comey, and the I would show you the this part, but it's a little bit more worn. These are size seven and a half, and although there is some wear, you can see kind of on the, the toe area, and you know some on the bottom, they're still a classic style, really well-made leather mule low heel, which is nice. So with these, I'm actually hoping to get about 60 to 70 if I can kind of clean them up a little bit. Um, yeah, I sold a Rachel Comey kind of knit cropped short sleeve sweater within like a few hours. And that was in a previous haul or a recent haul. So I, I'm, I'm liking that brand. I don't know who she is, but I, I yeah. All right, uh, I found this pair of boots that, I don't, I mean, I like, I personally like comfort shoe brands. Um, and so I, I own and wear naturalizer, but I liked the style on this. I liked kind of the, the block heel, kind of the studding it kind of gives it kind of that moto and the suede leather kind of two-toned black boot. And they seem to be in really good condition. They have been worn, you know, there's just light signs of wear, but really great condition. These are a size nine, which is awesome. And yeah, I just, I like the style. So I was pleasantly surprised the comps on Poshmark for these. I should be looking at about 30 to $36. Um, and I think someone will really like them. So uh, this was a new to me brand, but I thought the style was kind of funky. The label or the, the brand looked interesting. So I looked it up, kind of another comfort shoe. The brand is Bernie Mev, and it's a size 41. And yeah, they just have, they're not a driving style shoe. I actually didn't look at the style. I haven't listed these yet, but um, they seem to be in really good condition and I kind of like the bronzy color. Actually pretty lightweight for a pair of shoes. So I'm hoping based off comps, 30 to 36 is what I'm expecting for this. And the last pair of shoes, I don't, you know, I've become more selective with this brand, but these were just in great shape. And yeah, they're Stuart Weitzman, just kind of a very low 
wedge, if you even want to call it that, um, loafer. And one of the ways I can, um, like these, the Stuart Weitzman right here is not really rubbed off. And a lot of Stuart Weitzman I find is fairly rubbed off. There's the Stuart Weitzman right there. But they're just kind of classic and look pretty comfortable. So um, made in Spain, latex, 100% natural. That must be bottom and then suede on top. So, or leather upper. So anyways, um, I'm not expecting too much, 30 to 36. Some Stuart Weitzman can go for more. Some, it seems like you can't get rid of them, but it happens. All right, a couple bags. Really haven't been finding many bags recently, which I really like bags. This is a cute little hobo. And this little chain is removable, which is kind of nice because if you wanted to just carry it as a clutch, you could do so. And I like the bronzy chain. Let's see. Uh, this has, oh, that's right. I forgot to take out the receipts. There were some bank receipts from the previous owner. <laughs> there was no money in here. I wish. Actually, was this the day? I think this was the day that I found $10 in a pair of pants that I ended up leaving behind. Two $5 bills. I put it on my Instagram. Some gum wrappers. Anyways, I don't look all the time, but every once in a while I'll find money at the bins. So anyways, that's cute. I'm hoping to get about 22 to 28. This is a fanny pack and it was very lightweight. And you know, fanny packs, they're still in according to a lot of things I'm seeing. Um, and the sport sack is just a great little travel bag. Um, I did find some identical to this. I'm looking at about um, 12 to $15 as far as sale price. But yeah, if I needed a bins bag, I would just keep it, but I don't. I don't need anything these days. <clears throat> this was a new tags belt and I feel a little awkward that I've got someone's bank receipts with her info on there, but that's okay. I'm gonna cut them up and toss it. Uh, so this is a express belt that was originally $39.90 and it's a one size fits most, um, but it's like a tie. Like it's a great waist belt for a dress, in my opinion. Um, yeah, I mean, it doesn't feel like the best quality, it's express, but the dog would like to come inside. Um, it doesn't feel like the best best of quality, but that's just kind of express in general. I like express, I used to wear it all the time at work. Um, but yeah, with that, I'm looking at about 12 to 15 as well. This is a cute little clutch, and it's, I think it's like a little boutique, or maybe it was one of those fab, fun box things that I feel like they always throw this kind of stuff in. The brand is called Summer and Rose, and it looks like it's never been used. I mean, there's no signs of wear on the inside or out, just a fold over clutch and great little color. This, if you watch my vlog channel, you know I wear a lot of hats and I figured if I can't get this cleaned up, I'll wear it, I'll keep it. It's an aloe yoga, if you can see right there. And it did have some like <laughs> sweat marks, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw it in the wash. And if I can get it cleaned up, I might sell it if I do sell it, only looking at about 12 to 15, but if I can't get it cleaned up, like those sweat stains, I'll, I'll just keep it, so. And that's A-OK -okay by me. I mean, oh, snug. There's nothing that makes you feel worse than when your head is, there we go. See, it's a cute little style. Anyways, all right. Uh, next up, a couple more items and then on to clothing. This is just a sunglass case. I love picking up stuff that's easy to photograph. This is DVF, Diane Von Furstenberg, and it's got a cute little pop of pink and then the logo in there. Actually in pretty good shape considering it was thrown out of the bins. Um, so with this one, only hoping to get about 10 to 14. This is, I picked up for me, and but I did just want to, this weighs nothing. It's a Lululemon headband, but I did just want to acknowledge something pretty funny that happened to me. Last time I picked up a headband almost identical to this, um, Let's see and see if it fits on my head since, since we're on the big head topic. Um, so I picked one up almost exactly like this. Yeah, cute. A little workout. Anyways, um, I have already washed this. So uh, I picked one up exactly like this and I priced it. I want to say it like it went, the comps were saying it was going to sell for, you know, 10 bucks or seven, $8. I don't even remember. And so I priced up and I priced it 
12 or 15 and some some girl maybe 17 some girl left a comment and said you know these are new with new on their website for $12 and I had it priced at like 15 anyway she didn't she didn't send me an offer but they sold it sold for full price which also goes to show the regular retail price does not always mean anything for resale price anyways so I am going to keep this because I go on a lot of hikes and I don't have a lot of headbands I only have one and it's kind of thin and um, pulled, stretched. Uh, this is the only random item, I promise. I love random items. Um, this is sealed, new, and uh, eye drops. Now, I was with my mom recently at a Costco and she was picking up some eye drops and I realized that they're kind of pricey. I also know that things are discontinued and I don't know if these are discontinued, but according to comps, I should be able to get 12 to $15 for this. And is there a, oh, it is. Okay, so it's it's not expired. It expires June 21st, or sorry, June of 2021. So um, anyways, <laughs> it doesn't weigh much. Easy to photograph. Sometimes I just have those days where I just, I don't want to steam clothing or deal with clothing. So I just like, I like having a stash of stuff that it's like, I need to get some things photographed and I just want it to be easy. So anyways. All right, this I was pretty excited about, not because it's gonna get an extreme amount of money, but it's I liked the style. It's Weekend by Max Mara. It's a short sleeve midi dress and just very classic. And uh, sorry, I should show the label. It the, the label seem to be pretty crisp. And it's a size, whoops, size six US. But yeah, just kind of classic black and kind of a off-white and brown. Really, really quite classic. Like, I feel like someone needs to wear this in Paris. I, is, I don't know. Sometimes I make up these stories for the clothing items. Um, all right, this is, what is this? Oh, that's like a tag, not a good little tag. I haven't, I haven't taken photos of this stuff, but there's like a little weird tag in there. Anyways, this is a brand. I feel like I've looked it up and I, I didn't buy it before because it was damaged, but I had seen comps were pretty decent. So it's Whistles and I believe this is a UK brand. Don't quote me on it. I forgot to look it up. Uh, but this is a silk blend, long sleeve, kind of a sheer sleeve. My favorite always is a zipper up the back, like all the way. And it, it's a working zipper both ways. So if you want a little slit in the back, how about it? It's just, it's cute. It's got this kind of, it gives me kind of a little bit of the 80s vibe with it. But anyways, with this one, I'm hoping to get, um, I don't know if I said, with the Weekend Max Mara, I'm expecting 55 to 70. I'll probably start right at about 85. Uh, with the Whistles, I'm hoping for about 35 to 40. This is a Lovers and Friends which is sold at Nordstrom, Bloomingdale's, Revolve, and it's a romper, short sleeve romper, tie waist, and just a really pretty print, black. Um, someone put a safety pin because they wanted to keep it closed. I will, yeah, take that off. I'll throw it in a mannequin. Hopefully that will be able to photograph. And um, that is, sorry, the Whistles dress was a size eight. The Weekend Max Mara, I think I just said, was a size six US. I don't know why I didn't put that on my sheet. Um, yeah, a six US. And then the Lovers and Friends is a size small. And with that one, I'm hoping to get about 35 to 40. This one I was pretty excited to find, only because recently, probably a month ago, I found a Burberry Kids dress that was kind of this great fall piece. and ended up like getting to the last sort of the day, kind of going through the stuff, looking for damage. And there was a slit, like a cut that wasn't repairable. It wasn't on a hem or anything, but this is adorable. <laughs> uh, I actually did pick up a few kids items that are there in a second, but um, Burberry kids, adorable. Anything where the plaid is showing on Burberry, I feel like the comps are better and I have really good luck with, but here's the inside tag. <clears throat> I have been finding a lot of fake Burberry. Um, so I feel like I'm getting pretty good at spotting it. But um, anyways, I mean, look at how adorable. <laughs> I should say the size. It's a size five, five years. Five Y. 
so with that one, I'm actually hoping to get about 70 to 80, which is awesome for a little kid's item. This brand I've sold pretty quickly the, the one time I picked it up. I picked it up a second time and then I found some damage. But it is um, it is accepted at the Real Real Blue Marine, uh, made in Italy. I'm not sure what this is. It's like a, I don't know if this is a 90, but it's this really pretty rose pink. It is sheer. So, I mean, I guess you could wear a slip under it. I'm not sure. But uh, with this one, I don't, I don't know the size. It does feel like a silk blend or silk um, dress. Hoping you get about 30 to 38. I hope it fits on the mannequin because then it will look nice. But this was, I don't know where this brand is sold. And I think I meant to look it up, but THML. And yeah, it has this really fun print on the front. It's kind of like knee length, which is kind of nice. It's not, it's not super short. And then it has a fun cutout in the back, which is adorable. Size small. Um, this is, I'm hoping to get about 20 to 28. This one I picked up for style and I'm, I'm really not, I need to do some more research because I'm not sure, I'm not sure what it is. I don't think it's vintage. It's just like, it has a vintage look. The brand is Sophie, but it's this really pretty kind of boho, midi length dress with this um, lace overlay. And here's the tag. And yeah, I liked it for style. I'm gonna have to try and find out what this brand is. Unfortunately, with, with brands like that, where it's just a name and there's not much unique about it, it's hard to search for, at least for me, but I'll do some more research I didn't. Um, for right now, I'm hoping to get about 25 to 35 based off of style, unless I find out that it's, you know, some amazing brand, which I don't think that is. I mean, it's cute. I just picked it up because it was cute. This is really fun print. It is by, it is Plenty by Tracy Reese, or no, it's not the Plenty line, I don't think. It's just Tracy Reese, New York. And it's kind of got a little bit of a cap sleeve. On the back, it has this tie and then kind of the cutout in the back. And it's silk dress. Very lightweight and pretty. Hoping to get about 30 to 36 for that. This. Um, you know, this brand is very expensive retail, but the comps are not the best, but I still liked the style. This is a strapless, kind of fitted, but there is some elastic on the back, which is nice. Really print, almost kind of gives me Masoni vibes, um, but it's Parker. And yeah, I liked it and I thought it would photograph well. So with that one, it, I don't know the size. I couldn't find the size. It does feel like silk. Um, but I'm hoping to get 26 to 32. It looks like a size zero to small. All right. This one, you know, I looked at this brand recently on my solds and you know, this is a good bread and butter item is what I would consider it. Like it, it consistently sells for me somewhere between 15 to 30 and it's a mall brand. And I like it. I like the store. I used to like it as a kid, not a kid, but like a young, young woman, you know. Um, anyways, it's just this really pretty dress, strapless. It's a good size. It's a size 14, but it's White House Black Market. And yeah, I just thought this was a great holiday dress. So um, with this one, I'm hoping to get about 26 to 25 to 35. <clears throat> I was excited to find this brand again because the one time I did find it before, um, it sold very quickly for me. I believe it's a French designer and it went, the item actually went back to France and she sent, she had sent me a really cute note. Like it was her favorite. No, she was from France, lived in the U S anyways. I don't remember what the item was, but it's Gerald, um, Jared, Gerard, Gerard. Oh man. Isn't there a famous actor that would name that? Jer, <laughs> I'm going to stop. Legit, that's the label. Sometimes I can't speak. Um, it's just a really nice knit. It does have a snap on the front. Where's the other snap? So it can kind of, a little hard to show here, but I think it'll look nice on the mannequin and perfect for the season. 
Uh, this is a size three. I'm not gonna attempt to say it again because it's always embarrassing. It's alpaca wool blend and it feels great. I've got to look up what the size three is um, in that in that designer's line, but I'm hoping to get, I was actually disappointed with this one because the other item, I can't remember what it sold for, but it is a pretty expensive, I'm going to, I'm going to aim high. I'm going to, I'm going to start maybe 50 to 60, but based off comps, I'm actually only looking at 25 to 35. It just depends on how long it'll sit, but that's okay. I still like picking up the brand. This is a cute little free people size, small, kind of a cowl neck. Lightweight, feels really nice, kind of semi-sheer gray and cream sweater, long sleeve sweater. So with that, it is hoping for about 20 to 24. This is a St. John Sport. Ooh. I'm gonna try and button, because the buttons are cute. All right, this is, since I'm trying to button, size XL, which is a great size. Um, it's black gold print blazer, and I just think this is beautiful. It, oh, just so pretty. I love the little buttons. Um, so yeah, so there's St. John Sport. I don't pick up St. John Sport all the time. I don't pick up St. John all the time, but some of the pieces I think are classic and timeless, and I think that is one of them. I'm hoping to get about 35 to 40 for that. This one I was very hit or miss about because I don't normally pick up Polo Ralph Lauren, but this was a brown classic full zip real leather jacket. And I thought, eh, I'm just gonna look it up. And actually, uh, Sell Quick Ship Quick, Tiffany and Hugo, they're Los Angeles based part time resellers that also have a YouTube channel. I'll link it below. Um, they sold, I want to say a Hugo Boss leather jacket recently for a few hundred dollars. And now it makes me just think like, okay, you know, some of these are retail, very expensive and classic. So I decided to look it up and I was pleasantly surprised. Some of these had sold for $200, this exact style. It does have the little polo guy right here. And, um, this is an XL men's it's yeah. I mean, it's, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to swing a little bit lower. I'm probably going to start this at about 149, hope for about somewhere between 100 and 120. Um, because some of the comps were kind of between 100 and 200, but yeah, it just goes to show sometimes that it's, it's still important for me to look things up. This is one of my favorite pieces and tempting to keep, but I don't need it. It's Eileen Fisher. It's an XL and it's this sleeveless knit um, cardigan and it's got this kind of asymmetrical design in the back. This is what's hundred percent wool feels great and a great size and a beautiful kind of gray color. Um, and I'm hoping to get about 35 to 40 for that. All right. This is a J Jill, another brand that I just like picking up. It's just a cream knit cardigan. And it's got a tie right at the neck, which is cute. And little front pockets, adorable. Um, this is a size large, which is awesome. And hoping to get about 22 to 28. This one I picked up because I actually just listed this exact item in a size small. And then I found this in a size large and thought, I'm just going to adjust the listing. My dog is whining in the background. She gets to come in after I'm done filming this. Um, but this is two by Vince Camuto. It's a size large and yeah, just a little cute. It looks like three fourth length sleeves, turtleneck, beautiful color, kind of a berry color. And with that one, I'm hoping to get about 15 to 20. This is a anthropology moth sleeveless mock neck, kind of chunky knit sweater. And I liked it, size large. <clears throat> Here's the moth, kind of fun. So with that one, I'm hoping to get, my mound is growing right here. Uh, with that one, I'm hoping to get 20 to 24. This one um, was actually handed over to me. Um, and so one of the fun things about the bins is I get to meet people who watch these videos. 
Some people send me notes after saying I saw you or was too shy to say hi. Some people say hi. Um, and there was someone, which I won't name on here, but uh, her cart was two carts over and she just very quietly at the beginning of the day, we were there, right it open. Um, she very quietly um, just said, ah, I like your videos. And because our carts were so close, we would just check in throughout the day. And it was just fun to kind of check in between rotations while we're both sorting. Um, and she was just really nice. And she said, do you want this? And I thought it was adorable. It's a little free people item. It is missing a size tag, but I think on the mannequin, it would look adorable. I just love the sleeve and kind of the embroidery. So if you ever do see me, I am there working. And I think that's the common, <clears throat> um, even when I meet friends there, it's like, we're there to work. <laughs> so it's not all, it's not all chit chat. Cause we got to actually, you know, it's, it takes a lot of focus at the bins. I feel like, um, because you're constantly trying to think of, okay, you're, you're digging, you're trying to find good labels. And then you're always just kind of in your head thinking about Luna. I don't know if you can hear her growling, but she is sitting right outside the door. I'm going to pause this and let her in. All right. Dog is better. She, her leash sometimes gets stuck on things. And anyway, so, um, yeah, if you ever do see me, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm there to work and I think everyone is there really to work, but I do like meeting new people. And when people say hi, um, I do sometimes feel like I'm a, in a fishbowl. Is that the expression? Um, but I'm just a normal person, I promise. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. So anyways, thank you for that. Um, and moving on. Oh, so I'm hoping to get somewhere between 20 and 24 just because the color and the style I think is really cute. So, <clears throat> all right. I got two Yves Saint Laurent items. This one is kind of fun. A little graphic tee and it's got a bird. I'm not sure what this graphic print is, but it's funky. It usually makes me happy. So there's the Yves Saint Laurent. And I don't think I found a size on this. I mean, Italy, uh, cotton made in Italy, no size. Hand wash. Anyways, no. Um, very lightweight. Uh, I'm only hoping to get 20. Uh, oh, actually comps on that were really much better. Okay, comps on that were about 50 to 65. I'm going to have to double check on that. That's what I wrote down, which is interesting. I'll double check on that, but it's fun. This is a short sleeve button front, a navy blue, and it does have the YSL on this little pocket. Here's the Yves Saint Laurent, and this is a men's size medium, just a cotton blend, basic shirt. Um, with that one, I'm only hoping to get about 20 to 28. This is a, I love this wash, this denim color. It's a cloth and stone. I sold one almost exactly like this with kind of the slit on the back. And uh, yeah, I'm just hoping one day I'm gonna find one of these in my size. Um, this is a size small, and I'm hoping to get about 15 to 20. This is a Levi's Made and Crafted, which is one of their higher end lines. And this is a blue long sleeve button front, but it's got this multicolor kind of speckled look to it, which is adorable. And this is a size two. They've got uh, different sizing, vanity sizing. So I can't remember what that is. Equal, large my, is my guess, but I'll, I'll double check on that. Um, with that, I'm hoping to get about 20 to 24. This is a CP Shades. Someone told me in one video when it's that thin corduroy, it does have a name. I'll have to Look it up again. Oops, a string. Whoops, nope, that's a tear. Oh, that's a bummer. It happens. I usually find these things when I am um, photographing. That's a bummer. Well, it's on a hem, so maybe I'll just take it to a seamstress and see how much they'll charge, because this is one of my favorite brands. CP Shades, it's a small, kind of a thin corduroy, and it's got this embroidery all over kind of a brownish color. And this is a size medium cotton, but it does have a hole. Bummer. Oh, that's like, that's a pretty significant hole. So this might be redonated. Always check those armpits. Oh, both armpits. Wow. Usually I'm better than this. Like I've gotten better. I still make mistakes. 
So I think that's going to be redonated because I don't think it'll be worth it. If I were to sell it, um, and only be that style 26 to 32, some things from that brand can go for 50 to hundred. So it's not going to be worth it to get it fixed, but oh, well, this is a really, it, it's a pretty shirt and I wasn't familiar with the brand. So I decided to look it up. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Um, but this is a pretty expensive brand. I'm going to start this at about 50 and hope for about 35 to 40. It's a size large, kind of has the lag and look vibes and cute little sleeves. So yeah, I thought that was fun to learn about a new brand. This I picked up cause it was super lightweight and I thought over either a bralette or a, a can, kind of a cami camisole. This is BB Dakota. Not expecting much, only hoping for about 15 to 20, but I thought it was cute. This is a Michael Stars, and I pass on pretty much all Michael Stars, but every once in a while I'll find a piece and I like it. I love the ombre, I love the purple off the shoulder, and I think it's a size large, yeah. So they do sell this at Anthropology, Nordstrom. It's actually pretty expensive retail, but doesn't have that great of resale value. Um, should just wear this. Uh, there's another brand. Splendid is kind of similar, very expensive retail, not, not a great resale value, but um, I think this is going to photograph well. Maybe I'll wear it in the next video. Yeah, I'll, I'll wear that in the next video. <laughs> um, sometimes I just have to have some color. Anyways, like San Francisco, this just makes me happy. All right. This is interesting. I, I was kind of second guessing and I shouldn't pick this up. It's linen and it's got this really pretty print. Just a short sleeve. It's a shorter style top. It's not a crop, but it's Uniqlo, but it's a collab with Liberty London. And I thought, oh, I'll look that up. And sure enough, the comps on this, um, oh, the Michael Stars, I'm only hoping for about 15 to 20. Um, this, I'm surprised that it should sell for about 20 to 24. Like I think one exactly like this sold for 28 or something like that. So yeah. Uniqlo is not very expensive, and so I don't really ever pick up the brand <clears throat> because it's pretty affordable retail, but um, yeah, I think, I think that'll do well. This was, I think, a boutique brand, and I wasn't sure, but again, it was kind of like the style, wrong season. Um, I think this will look cute on the mannequin. It's by Waif, size medium, and if this isn't boutique, it's like a Nordstrom rock or something like that. But uh, yeah, pretty lightweight. So I decided to pick it up. Um, this one I'm hoping to get 15 to 20. This is an anthropology. You know, a lot of people say they don't pick up this line because it doesn't do well, but I just can't not pick it up. I just love the style. It's Diletta. This is a size extra large. However, it doesn't look oversized. Like it would be a fitted. Well, yeah. Anyways, it's kind of this really pretty blue color, or not blue, gray color with kind of a hint of kind of a light purple. But um, yeah, I still, it's lightweight, only hoping to get about um, 12 to 15 for that, but good size and yeah. So this one I've only, and I think it was probably right when I first started reselling or a couple months after, so about a year ago. I want to say, and I'm not 100% sure, I saw Empty Hanger pick this up, brand up, or I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it was someone, and I've never found it, and but I recognized it, and I was like, I think that's a good brand, and it says Girlfriend Collective, but it's just a little cropped racerback black tank, and um, there is some pilling, so I'll sweater shave it to a degree, but I'm just, just probably going to disclose that. Uh, this is a very expensive brand, um, so I will keep an eye out for this. This style, however, I'm only looking at about 15 to 20, but some of their stuff can go for quite a bit more. So I was just excited to find a brand that I had seen once before. And uh, yeah, that still happens almost every time we go to the bins. So this is a fun little tank with a little pop of neon. And I'm not expecting much, only about... Oh, 12 to 15 as well, but it weighs pretty much nothing. It's by Reese, another brand that can do pretty well with some of the dresses and stuff, but this only, you know, not expecting too much, but I thought it was fun. 
This is a Fabletics and I picked it up because it's perfect for winter. It's got a beautiful color. It's got the thumb holes, which is awesome. And then it's kind of got this mesh on the back. Not sure if it's picking up, but um, yeah, it needs to, needs to be um, lint rolled. But uh, sorry, the pull tag is still here. It's a size medium and it's just a nice fitted workout top. Hoping to get about 12 to 15 for that as well. This is John Barbados. It's a long sleeve polo shirt, kind of a maroon color with a little bit of dark gray or black. Anyways, pretty basic. I do like picking up this brand for men. Um, hoping to get about 18 to 20 for that. And this is adorable. Oh, one of my favorite brands, not for money, but because it usually sells pretty quickly for me, Zara Man. And this is a size small, but look at how fun that is. And I think I'll be able to pick that up in the photos. I think it's just contrasted enough that it'll pick up. But uh, with this one, I'm hoping to get about 15 is what I'll accept in the beginning. Um, yeah, probably about 15 for that. All right, I said, I think earlier that I picked up a few kids items and I got the Burberry kid item. I just don't pick up much kids because most of it's not valued at much. And I also, it's just not my comfort zone. I don't, I don't shop for kids. And so I just don't know anything about it. However, I got some cute, cute little kid stuff. This is, this is another brand that uh, someone corrected me on. And then Lori Tata, who's also on YouTube, she actually went to... Spain and went to one of their stores and asked them to pronounce it correctly and there were all variations of because I think it's one of those brands that anyways so I think it's I think she said it was Desigual um but I hear all variations I think I originally someone said it's like residual but desigual um but I think she and Laura you can correct me if you see this video I think she said it was like Desigual is how they were saying it there. But anyways, and there is a different uh, way when you go to Spain, it, certain parts like Barcelona, how we say it is actually Bartha, like the seas. Anyways, I, I spent a few weeks in Spain one time. And so I realized that they do speak or they do have a different way of saying certain things, but how adorable. Uh, kids size 10, 9, 10. Adorable. Look at this little purse. <laughs> anyways, with this, I'm hoping to get, I just go off on these tangents, 15 to 18 for that. This was a uh, adorable, <laughs> first and foremost. Is that a little spot? It might be a little spot, so I might have to stay and treat it. But it's Johnny Quality Goods. It's five to six year old and a pretty expensive, uh, I don't know how expensive it was. The comps on this showed to be about 12 to 15 is what I should be able to get, but I just couldn't pass it up. It was too, it was too cute and good for the season few mini Bowden all in the same bin and I think they're all I don't think they're all the same size so there's two that are size six that I'm probably going to put together and then this is a seven to eight omg how adorable um it's got cats all over it and I as a kid loved animals and had cats I'm now I'm allergic but as a kid I had I think five total not at once like spread out but I don't want to go near cats anymore because they make me sneeze and my eyes swell up. But as a kid, I really liked cats. So this is the pair of size six mini Bowden. Oh my gosh, how cute. And then a little pair of blue size six. So these I'm probably going to group lot together. If I were to sell them individually, I'd be expecting about 12 to 15 each since I'm going to put them together probably about 25 to 30 for the two. And then the little skirt hoping for about 15 as well. Okay, this pile. Okay, moving on to some jeans and then we are done. Oh, and some shorts. Uh, all right, this is All Saints and these are distressed skinny pants and they do have what appears to be stains but it's kind of all over so I think that's intentional if you can see right there. So and then down here. So anyway, it's just kind of that worn look. This is All Saints, size 26. With these, I'm hoping to get uh, 
35 to 40. I've got to rearrange because I was sitting on my... All right. This is a pair of Theory wool pants, kind of nice slacks. Uh, this is a size six. And they are uh, boot cut. And I'm hoping for about 30 to 35 for these. Cute pair of free people, little floral denim skinny pants, skinny jeans. I think these are an ankle length and size 28. Adorable. With these, I'm hoping to get about 20 to 28. This is a brand, I feel like I've seen this once before, but maybe not. Jarbo. And it's a size 38. These are, yeah, I don't know where they sell this, but elastic waist, amazing. Kind of a slim leg, and I think ankle length. Looks like a high rise. So uh, with these, I'm hoping for about 20 to 28. These, I actually just sold a pair almost identical to this, a different color. Uh, and I can't remember the name of it, so I'm gonna have to look at, back at that listing. But these are a Free People pair of jeans, but they're um, like a slide on flare. Uh, and, and the comps on this style are pretty good. So um, this actually does have kind of all over. I don't know if you can kind of see the white speckles or, so I think that's just part of the style because it's all over. But I'm gonna have to get under the light, make sure there's no issues. But with this, I'm hoping to get about 30 to 38. Oh, is that some puckering? I think that's some puckering. That is, that's a bummer. Well, what size are you? 28. These might have to be redonated. I did not catch that. I think I was just excited because I just sold the other pair. So two down, two, <laughs> two damaged. That's okay, I kind of fully expect, you know, about five to 10% of my bin spines are going to be damaged. Some I can still resell. If they're an uh, expensive enough brand, some I just redonate, and that's just all kind of factored in. And that happens at regular stores for me too. So uh, J brand, gray, ankle zipper, skinny pants. And these are a size 29. These are the Cassidy. And I'm hoping to get about 15 to 20 for these. I thought these were actually kids because they are pretty tiny, but they just have a lot of stretch and they're fitted and they're size 25. This is a brand I've never found before, Westland and Grant. And I can't remember where I found it, but this style is just awesome. And it's got this raw hem. And yeah, I really liked it. Ankle or not ankle, zippers, raw hem, great style. So the cost on this looks pretty good. I'm hoping for about 35 to 40. This is a pair of joggers by Bella Doll. I think I sold some joggers by this brand recently that had some wear, but they have some ankle zippers and they sometimes sell this at Anthropology and Nordstrom and some of the places, but say small. And yeah, I'm hoping to get about 20 to 28 for those. This is a pair of Levi's that it kind of gives me that vintage feel, but I do not, they are not vintage. <clears throat> but, uh, they kind of almost feel salvage, you know? Um, very kind of that rough, not, no stretch kind of denim Levi's jean. Distressed, raw hem, probably ankle length, high-waisted, button fly, really great wash, size 24. And then there's the Levi's. So I think this is just them doing more of their kind of vintage inspired stuff. Um, with those, I'm hoping to get about, probably about 25 to 30 for those. They're pretty tiny, but they're cute. <clears throat> this is a pair of White House Black Market jeans. I might try these on because you can never have too many pairs of jeans, or in my case, you can. 
Uh, this is a slim crop, so I really like the style. This is White House Black Market. And just really nice medium wash, raw hem. And I think this would be really cute with some ankle boots. So um, if I sell them, <laughs> I'm hoping for about 20 to 28. This is a pair of fun Zara Man, kind of a black and cream. Um, it's not a polka dot, but circles spotted. Um, slim leg pants. And there's the Zara Man. I, I love this brand. Sometimes the basic stuff I don't pick up, so I don't pick it up all the time. But slim trousers that are kind of a fun print. Hoping to get about 18 to 24. This is a new with tag stitch fix skirt. And on the front, it kind of has a fun design, a fun little pop of color on the waistband. And it's by the brand Pixley. And this is the Pixley Stacy Scallop Hem Cutout Detail Skirt in the color navy. So yeah, hoping to get about 15 to 18 for this. And then another new with tags, this is a Banana Republic Factory, but I, which I normally never pick up or rarely pick up. Um, but this is new with tags, size 12, and I thought it was cute. Navy blue, nice little diamond print. There's this tag. Originally $69.99, but you know, the outlets always have sales every day. So I'm sure that this was probably 30 or 40 is my guess. <clears throat> um, so with this, I'm hoping to get 12 to 15. These were kind of fun, new to me brands. And I think it's a sample. I'll show you why in a second. So really short shorts, cut off, S-I-W-Y. I'm not sure. Um, but the reason I think it's sample, LA gets a lot of sample stuff. So I find it all the time, just cause there is, as with, you know, big cities, they've got like the garment districts and brands are actually making stuff there. This is, unless this is on every pair of pants, this is like a handwritten note um, with the style, some weird numbers, the size. So these are size 26 and I'm hoping to get about 26 to 32. Pretty expensive retail if I remember correctly. This is a pair of J Brown shorts. I like the length short, but not super short. Uh, these are a just, you know, medium wash cut off Size 27, hoping for about 15 to 20. Shorts are my favorite thing to photograph. <clears throat> they are just so easy and they just make me so happy. So I don't mind a lower return on them. These are a pair of free people, distressed black cutoff shorts. And with those, I'm hoping for about 15 to 20. Two more. A pair of cool K-U-H-L kind of cargo shorts. And there's the brand. And these are a size 32, so I'm guessing men's. And yeah, just a nice, nice basic. And um, with these only hoping for 20 to 24, according to similar items. And then this was uh, not gonna get much, but new to me, kind of California board shorts, really fun kind of mm, burnt orange color a little bit and it's Mollusk, California. And yeah, just a surf surf brand in California. That must be their logo or something. Um, anyways, hoping to get about 15 to 18 for this. And those are size 34. So that's my 70 items. I was um, happy with the two days combined to come home with a little over 100 items. I now need to get these photographed and get them listed. I'm really trying to amp up my listings. So I'm, I'm at about 13 to 14 per day. And I'm hoping to get to 15 um, here soon. And yeah, I'm just working hard. So got to get this stuff done. Hit the thumbs up if you like this video and this haul. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.